Hello and welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are discussing when is the best time for you to stock your catfish and make the best profit. I may have done videos like this before, but I want to explicitly tell you some particular things that you may never know about your stocking time. Yes, it's always good to stock every time you have the opportunity, but there are times that when you stock, you make the best profit at the end of the cycle. So that's what we're going to be discussing now. And uh, in case you have any issue in your farm, simply do a two to three minutes video of any problem you're having in your farm and send it to me. When I look at these videos, I will be able to tell you how to come out of this problem. And remember, it's best to send me videos when you are feeding your fishes. That gives me an overview of what's happening in your pond. And I will be able to provide you with some practical solutions to your problems. And remember, we don't have any WhatsApp group. We don't have any closed group. I will never ask you for money to join any WhatsApp group. So I'll be right back to discuss this. Welcome back. So for starters who are not yet, uh, have not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Kindly subscribe to this channel so that you could be able to get all our videos and hit on the notification bell so that once I drop any video, you will see it. Then don't forget, we're also on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. And all we do here is just to teach you practical things that are going to help you. Now, if you want to stock and you don't know the best size of the pond to match what you want to do, simply send me a message and telling me the size of your pond. I will tell you the best size of fishes to stock there. Remember, overstocking is not an option in catfish. That's how you first start your making of your mistakes. So now let's dive into this topic. So like I said, um, what's the best time for you to stock your catfishes and make the best result? First of all, um, if you've grown in the business, you get to a level that you can stock at any time. Yeah, like me, I stock sometimes every two weeks, sometimes every week, I do that. Now, some people, they call me, they say, oh, they want to be stocking like that. Look, these are things you develop over a time. Why? You have to like understand customer demands, periodic demands, that will suit your stocking idea. It's not just about going having the money and you're stocking every week. That's not how you make profit. Now, what is the best time for you to stock your catfish and make the best profit? If you understand catfish, you understand that catfishes, they need 100%, they live 100% of their life in water, meaning that water is essential. No, now, as a business person, if you want to stock your catfish at any time, you have to stock when other catfish farmers are at a disadvantage. Yeah, it may, it, may, it may sound like you are being selfish, but it's not selfishness. It's what you call business. You are not spoiling any other person's business. No, what you have to do in any business for you to be able to make more profit, you have to be able to create services that other people doing the same business you do, do not create. So indirectly, you are not spoiling anybody's business, but you are now staying when those people cannot be able to stay. And that's how you make profit in any business you are doing. Catfish is not an exception. I always say it, Whenever you plan of getting into catfish business, don't think you want to just be a catfish farmer. No, think I want to be a business-minded catfish farmer. That's the only way you can make money. And this is the truth. Because when you think I just want to be a catfish farmer, you make nothing. Because your own is just to raise fish, which is not the business. Now, like I was saying, you have to think on the opposite side, which is when do other catfish farmers have problem of stocking? Now, if you think like this, you discover that the best time is when they don't have water because your catfish live 100% of their life in water. So now, when do other catfish farmers don't have water? And it's obviously is during dry season. Now, if you want to start catfish business and maybe you are having something else that you are doing, the best time you can start your catfish business is not to target celebrations. Celebrations are good, but you target celebrations that will end when catfish farmers are at a disadvantage. I will explain these things very well. Now, what I mean by this is simple. If I'm a new catfish farmer and I have another business I'm, I'm doing, now if I want to start catfish business, depending on how many moons you are targeting to, to stock, for me, 
for a new catfish summer, I will advise you not to stock your catfishes, your catfish to sell at December. It's a wrong move, but many people don't know. They think that because there is high demand of uh, catfish that December is your best time. Well, I don't know for any other country, but here in Nigeria, uh, December is always a wrong time for you as a beginner to stock. And I will explain. During December, we have excess of catfish in the market simply because many catfish farmers always plan that they want to sell a week two weeks before christmas to make money to get what their family will eat in christmas and therefore by christmas time they overpopulate the market with products and now when this happens your buyers will now be the ones you are enriching because now they have too many alternatives on pricing so because they have too many alternatives on pricing what happens is that if you are supposed to sell two, eight, three thousand per kilo, some of them may insist on two thousand or two thousand two hundred. But you need money, and it's a pressing money because it's Christmas time, and you want your family to celebrate Christmas. Now you are forced to sell. At, oh, whatever happens, I'm okay. My family will be happy. Then you sell and collect the money, making pure loss. So that's a wrong time. Now, if you are planning to like do four months or five months fishes, what you will do is from the month you want to sell, count back. So if it were me, what I would do is, instead of planning to sell at Christmas, I would plan to sell at January. Yes, January may sound awful, but January, the dry season in Nigeria is already getting to its peak. Because Nigeria, uh, dry season starts from November, start peaking December, January. So most catfish farmers that actually use rain to do their catfishes always sell off November. Then the remnants, they will struggle till December, they sell at any price. So if you could, December, even if you have fish to sell December, just make it that you have a food that can carry your fishes to January. So at December, you stick to your price. If fishes are sold now for 3K now, and uh, by December, you still stick to your 3,000. So people that have money will buy from you, but don't be in a rush because you now have feed planned to take your catfishes to January. So if by January, then most people that we are rushing to sell Christmas time would have sold off, you are selling. And then you now start dictating what the market says. So this is how a businessman, businesswoman, catfish farmer would reason. Then another time if you want to sell again is anything January, February, March. These are dry season. So most people on eating pond do not have fish at this time. Because most eating ponds will dry, then the ones very close to the stream, the stream will reduce its power, and then everybody is looking for, for water. So because people are looking for water, so people fear encroachment into their, uh, their ponds, so they don't have anything. So if you have your catfish farm, and you are on eating pond, and your pond doesn't dry, don't rush to sell your fish. Hold on, start selling January, sell uh, February, sell March, these times, they are not the best time that people have money, but you know, people must enjoy themselves. So that time, catfish still sells at a very good price. Now, if you're having steady water in your house, let's say you are using a concrete tank, tapolin pond, it's still the same thing. Because I always say something, before you site your, your catfish farm and you want to use surface ponds like tapolin, concrete pond, you know, ask the guy that wants to drill borehole for you to make sure that it's um commercial water that you have so once you confirm that it's commercial water that you have count back from the time you want to sell so you will know when to stock so if you are planning to like raise your fishes to seven months now you can say okay i want to sell my fishes seven months by march so from march you count back so where we give you the beginning will be when there will be water but when it's going to end it's during dry season and it's during the peak of dry season so with this you always some steps ahead so why I'm saying this is that, you know, this is another time people are beginning to stock. So right now, many people are stocking catfish. But the irony of what is going on now is that people that are stocking catfish now, most of them are people that use eating pond because rain is about to start now. So people are like getting ready, you know, preparing their ground. So if you have concrete pond, tapolin pond, and you have steady water, you, you can actually stock at any time. But try to position your sales time to be when people are going to be at a disadvantage. I'm not saying that if you have stocked now that you are wrong. No. If you have stocked now, it's okay. But when you finish this stocking and you want to stock another time, 
do the count back and see when you are supposed to stock. Look, all I have said now doesn't mean that maybe people that stock by uh, rainy season they will not make money. They will still make money. But what I'm saying is for you to make more profit. That's what I'm saying. And please, I have said this before and I keep saying it. If you must cite a borehole, make sure it's commercial water. If the driller says it's not a commercial water that is there, or if the driller cannot read the report, the survey report, send it to me, I will read it for you. That's not a problem. I've been reading it for people free of charge. I will read it for you. Then if the driller reads it for you and say, look, we don't have a commercial water, but we still have domestic water that you can use. Explain to the dealer that you need so much water because it's catfish. I understand you want to start your farm, start your farm. Before you make payment for the land which you want to site your pond, your farm, please, first of all, go and do the water visibility search on that land before making payment. If the owners of the land refuse that you won't do that, kindly leave that land, look for another land. I'm saying this out of experience. People have paid for land and at the end of the day, they discover there's no water or there's no commercial water and they are pressurized to go on and do catfish and they fail because it gets to the time the borehole will go very low. It can't even give you up to 3,000 liters. When sometimes in every two days you waste over 100,000 liters of water, how do you survive? These things are business perspective of catfish farming. So I'll keep on trying my best to like bring in some of this um information that you will never get from anywhere and it will be good if you ask me some questions so that i will always direct my answers to also clear your doubts so if there is anything that you don't understand from my explanation kindly use the comment section and if you want me to like come and explain more things use the comment section and until i come your way next time my name is emily fonwell ogi of leros farm keep farming it's a way of life